Welcome to the activity one of Create Music with Ear Sketch workshop. In this activity, we are going to set tempo and add sounds. So let's go ahead to our Ear Sketch application that we have open in here. And uh, if you go to the scripts pane, you can get a list of all the scripts on the left side. If you click on it, it would open your code in the code editor where you can edit your code. So let's look at the pre-existing code that we got by just creating a script. So the first line is from your sketch import star. It basically means that there is another code or module called ear sketch and we are importing star from it. Star basically means everything. So we are importing everything that is present in ear sketch module. By that, I, by that we mean that all functions that are defined in ear sketch function, uh, and I highly recommend going through Python basic functions at this point, um, um, because we will be using functions a lot going forward. So, um, yeah, coming back to this, uh, import star is going to import all the functions that are defined in the your sketch module into our into the context of our program, so that we can we can just use function calls from the program from our program. Uh, by passing a parameter value. For example, we can just use set tempo, which is a function defined in ear sketch module um, by passing a parameter, which is 120 here. So we will be using more functions in this um, in this in our code going forward. So um, so basically this function is going to set the tempo for our song. Uh, tempo is the pace or the speed at which music is played. Um, the, the values that this function accepts is from 45 to 220. So once we have a sound file in our program, we will try setting it to different values to see how differently our song sounds like. All right, so let's go ahead and insert a function here, a predefined function, and this function has been defined in the year sketch module. So let's place our cursor here, which is somewhere between the set tempo function and the finish function. And so if you remember from the overview or getting started with your sketch lesson, um, we have uh, an API browser here, which has a list of predefined functions. And what we want is a fit media function. So let's try to paste this function in here. So as you can see, it is inserted into a program. It has four parameters that we need to specify. The first one is the file name. The second is a track number. The third is the start location, and the fourth is end location. Uh, file name is the name of the sound that you would want to fill in. So let's go to the sound browser. As you can see that I have this file name highlighted. I have double clicked on it. You see, if you double click on this, it gets highlighted. So I have the file name highlighted here. Um, so I'm going to use a sound that is in the workshop. I'm going to use this one. Go back and look for that sound. All right, so I have this one. Let's play it. All right. So I want this sound uh, to be the sound uh, to be inserted in my song. So I have this highlighted. I just click on the paste button and this inserts my sound in here. 
the track number is uh, basically the track on which I want this sound to be played. I would and having different tracks on in your song basically adds a level of sophistication to your song. Uh, the more number of tracks you have, uh, more sophisticated your song becomes. So um, let's add, since there are no tracks as of now, let's add track one for now. Start location is uh, the location where you would want your sound file to start playing. Since we do not have uh, any more sound files as of now, let's start with start location one and end with a random number, which is seven. So now let's see. Let's go and click on run. So as you can see, I have track one here because that is what I have defined here. This was the track number. So track one is starting this song file that I specified in here from position one, start location one, and it's ending at start location seven. So let's go ahead and uh, play this. Awesome, isn't it? So um, let's make it a little more complicated. So what I would do here is add one more of these function calls. Use the same sound file for now just to show um, how different it can be. Place the sound file on track two. Start maybe um, at fourth position and end at 10. And also, I would like to change the tempo, which is the pace at which the sound is played, to maybe 100. Let's see what that does. So you click on Run here. And as you can see, there are two tracks now, because I have defined two of them here. Uh, the first one is starting at position 1, ending at 7. The other one is start starting at position 4, ending at position 10. So let's go ahead and play this song. So you can see it's kind of slower now. And the slowness in the song is because of the tempo. So go ahead and try adding more fit media functions and creating a song.